Beyond creativity, we also engage our students in an area of learning that we call service learning here at Quest Academy. And I thought it would be a nice touch for you to get a little bit of a feel what it is that our students actually do in service learning. And to help you explain that tonight is Mrs. Jen Fabsig, our service learning coordinator. Thank you. Well, good evening and thank you so much for coming. The first question you probably want to know the answer to is what is service learning? Perhaps when you were in school, it was called community service. I know that's what we called it when I was in school. But service learning seeks to go beyond simply serving the community into actually learning academic subjects and learning civic values. For example, if you look at this sign, it was done by a second grade, a group of second graders. They are currently learning about hunger and homelessness. You see here, they have created something for the Quest community to teach the Quest community about hunger and homelessness. And if you can't read that, it says, nationally, one in five people in a soup kitchen line is a child. And families with children are the fastest growing group of, home, of the homeless population. So what they're doing there is not only learning about hunger and homelessness, they're also using their writing skills. They're also using their skills to think about marketing of what's going to catch someone's eye. They're also using their math skills. You see here they're working with a ratio. And that's something that you don't normally see in math till way beyond the second grade. But service learning seeks to tie all those academic ideas into serving the community. How is it structured at Quest Academy? In the lower grades, each class, each grade, is given a topic. And it starts with the first grade. The first grade is given the topic of environmentalism. And specifically, the first grade is focusing on plants and animals. The second grade, as we talked about, is focused on hunger and homelessness. So that's their area. The third grade's focus is literacy. And if you notice in this picture, the third graders are working with the koalas and the pandas. They actually go down and read to them. So even though the koalas and the pandas and the kindergartners are not specifically given a topic, they're still involved in service learning at Quest. The fourth grade is engaged in trying to help people. This is a picture of fourth graders who went to Save Your Souls, which is an organization that collects shoes to send around the world to people who don't have shoes. And the fifth grade's focus is environmentalism again, this time with an emphasis on reducing, reusing, and recycling. And then in the middle school, the focus shifts a little bit. We allow our students to choose in the middle school an area of service that interests them. And studies show that when students really do well with service, it's because they really care about something. And letting the middle schoolers choose allows them to put out that caring. We also have service learning leaders. These are middle schoolers who have said that they would like to lead their peers and that they are willing to plan and organize all of the service learning for the entire year within the subject that they care about. We have a retreat at the beginning of the year where we work on leadership skills. And these are some of the leaders working there. And I was in the military. I have not seen leadership training like this except in the military, especially leadership given to students who are so young given so much responsibility and so much trust. This is our slogan for this year. It's actually on the back of our service learning leader shirts. And as you think about that slogan, I wanted to read you a couple of reflections from our students. This is from a fourth grader who went to work with the, the organization that collects and distributes shoes. Before we went to share your souls, the fourth graders collected 350 pairs of shoes. I felt very heroic preparing shoes that will be given to people in Haiti and Uganda. I learned that if you don't have shoes, your feet can pick up diseases or get infected. Because I went to share your souls for a day, I made a difference in someone's life. It is also a way to learn better group skills. I would love to help more people and to change the world. And this is a reflection from a middle schooler who is actually a, student, is a leader. So this talks a little bit about her leadership. In seventh grade, I communicated directly with Book Friends, a group that works to send textbooks to schools in Africa and a movement to establish more school libraries. This gave me an opportunity to plan immersion days and glance into a more professional world where dates and times really do matter and you don't have someone watching over you to assure you get to, from class to class. I've tried to mimic this with the literacy group this year and hope that the kids find a love of service 
and that they see the world as something bigger than their community. And that, to me, is the focus of what we're trying to do when an eighth, grade, an eighth grader responds like that and has a lifelong commitment to helping their fellow man. One final push I'd like to offer to all of you, we have twice a year an immersion day, and that's when the entire school drops what we're doing and we focus on service. And we have a lot of different activities going on. You can sign up on the website. We would love to see you come out and volunteer with us. We, you are more than welcome and we'd love to have that.